Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be diving into what's to come for 2024. Okay, so I kind of wanted to just sit down and have an honest conversation about everything that's been going on and kind of the changes that I'm going to make for 2024 and hopefully these will be helpful to you if you wanted to make some changes for your business and I think, yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, so I wrote down a little list of basically things that I've already started to put into place and what I'm kind of going to run with in 2024. So let me start with, ah, where do I start? Okay, I'm gonna start with connection and connection building with other creators. So this is something that obviously I've put in place like a long time ago without even thinking about it, especially with like my mentorship and the course and everything and the webinars that we did where we're just kind of all connecting. And I also have like group chats on like tons of different platforms. So really what I'm gonna be focusing on in 2024 is building connections with more creators and really deepening those connections. I do have a really, really close relationship with three other girls here on YouTube, and that is Kayla, Anne, and Erin. They're like my OF besties, and we try to communicate as much as possible. We're all in like a little group chat and we do have like FaceTime calls every so often. So I really want to keep that going and also make friends with other creators as well. Um, I have other friends obviously, but I think to actually share knowledge and connect and get to know each other and actually build like genuine relationships is something that I think one will help your business. And I know it shouldn't be just a business transaction, but I think that as creators, like we have to band together, we have to help support each other. And I've just noticed how impactful like those girls have been to my career and to my success. And I hope that us connecting has been just as helpful and supportive for them. So I just think it's really, really important and going into 2024, I want to keep growing that network and keep, you know, just connecting with you. I just think it's so important. So that's something that I'm going to be doing and I definitely encourage all of you creators to be doing. It really has been one, super motivating and also just genuinely helpful. Like in this career, we just don't have coworkers most of the time unless you do this with like a partner or you collaborate with other creators. But overall, like I'm at home, I make content by myself, I do all the marketing and editing and you know, everything, the communicating, all of this is done alone and without having co-workers it's hard to keep growing as a creator and like keep learning because you know you're just doing all the research on your own so being able to have that network i think is just so beneficial in so many ways even like mentally like we all support each other even in like our own personal lives like we're like oh my god i was going through this this week ah. like it's so nice so that's something that i'm going to be doing into 2024 and keep you know growing that connection but now let's jump into like actually stuff that's gonna help your business as far as like tips and tricks or whatever okay so one thing that i've kind of pushed a lot of and i am gonna keep doing is my branding i really want to narrow down my branding and i started making changes in the last couple of weeks well i guess week i have made a lot of changes to my spicy pages so if you take a look i started doing this branding and it is super bright it's super in your face and I did this for a reason. I wanted to just be a little more of a presence. I wanted to be spotted easier. So some of the things that I'm going to be doing for my branding in the coming year is I'm planning to do more eye-catching content as well as more captivating captions or like more provocative captions maybe not provocative in this in the sense of like explicit but more like something that's going to capture someone's attention make them want to respond to it make them want to just interact with the content more and i've started doing this on both instagram and twitter and i will get to twitter because that's something else that i think is really important for this coming year so we'll jump into that a little bit more but basically just like more controversial captions i guess the next thing is like you see here like the banners the branding i just want it to be really iconic and like very clear and very just visually present so my banner and profile photos have all changed to this and i want that to be 
visual across all my different platforms obviously i have two different sort of brands i have one that's like the spicy content itself which is going to be that green and then i also have like my student branding where i'm like connecting with creators like my youtube it's a completely different brand so i want to narrow that down as well but yeah i think having really strong impactful branding is going to be really really important and then the next thing on my spicy pages i'm making sure that i have the same tagline in every single description or like bio for my pages so you'll see all of my pages say the exact same thing they say sweetest freak you'll ever meet with a black heart and i feel like that just describes me and my content really well and it's not too overwhelming it's something memorable and easy to kind of digest so yeah, just something like that that is memorable and can describe your content really easily. I think a tagline is important for all brand. If you think on like a branding level, like every brand kind of has either a catchy tagline or like something that you know is very much that brand. And maybe it's not exactly a tagline, but it's something, you know, that reminds you of the brand and if someone says one word it described that brand so well you know what i mean something like that so just as far as like marketing and branding i'm looking at all my pages as a brand so i want to align with that brand in every single aspect okay and then the last thing is kind of like a gimmick i noticed in a lot of different branding especially in celebrities there's always a sort of visual gimmick so like if you think of amy winehouse she has the big giant winged eyeliner and the big giant hair if you think of tate mcrae right now she's doing this thing with a glove and it's similar to like michael jackson and his glove so there are these visual elements that are sort of gimmicky it's like why do they have that what is the purpose but they can capture someone's attention and they make someone question and talk about that artist. So my gimmick that I've been trying to introduce into my content, especially on my new Instagram page, which we'll talk about, is a glass of milk. And I know that's really strange, but I think it's inherently kind of sexual because it's milk. And we'll get into the branding for that, but that's kind of a direction I'm trying to try out. It's not something like set in stone or anything, but I'm testing the waters on like that gimmicky prop that I have and I think a prop is kind of like I don't know I think that when you look at branding and marketing it's something that works and it's worked for many many years so that's what I'm testing out in 2024 okay the next thing on my list has to do with the types of posting schedule that I'm going to be doing so the first one is I'm posting one to two times on Twitter and I'm in multiple engagement groups and I'm retweeting many many people who are also retweeting my content that's the whole point of the engagement groups at least once a day so normally what i've been doing is i'll wake up in the morning repost everybody in my engagement groups and then post myself and put that in the engagement groups so then people can retweet me and i've been doing that every single morning and actually i've gained i was i think at the beginning of October I was at like around 6,000 followers on Twitter and now I'm at almost uh, 9,000 followers I'm at 8,900 and like something so yeah in like just a couple of months I've really gained a lot on Twitter and it's all from the engagement groups and it's all from that strategy I know not everyone wants their feed to be full of like other creators but I have noticed that's helped me grow so that's a strategy that I'm putting in place for the new year and keeping going with I also think you can create your own engagement groups if you want to be more selective of who you're reposting and how many people so you could be more selective and reach out to only the people that you would actually actually want to retweet that's one strategy you could do but for me yeah, I have multiple different engagement groups some of them are more open and broad to whatever types of creators some of them are more specific like tattooed people or you know 5k or more followers like those types of things so you can make your own engagement groups and all you have to do is reach out to creators and say do you want to be in an engagement group I'm gonna create one or something like that and that's what I just did I just would post it and be like is anybody interested in joining an engagement group and then I started creating those engagement groups and yeah in the last few months I've really grown a lot on Twitter 
I'm also trying out a strategy on Twitter by posting more videos and again going back to like the captions and stuff I try to always ask either a question or give like a prompt so basically repost this if blank 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 or like this if da 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 so basically giving the viewer a reason to take an action on your content or like respond to the content something like that but yeah, I'm testing out videos as well, and we will actually get into videos next. So another strategy that I've been putting in place for the last week and actually was recommended through my connections with other creators, and it was recommended by Kayla. I will link the girls that I mentioned down below, but Kayla has been posting reels consistently for a while, and she just hit 100K on Instagram, all through just posting reels consistently two times a day for the last I don't know how long, and it's been really, really helping her grow. It's a super simple strategy, but it's been helping her a lot. And then also the two other girls that will be linked down below, they also also started doing it and they've been growing so much on Instagram so I actually created a brand new Instagram for reels and it's called Alana sips which hence the sips the milk thing that I talked about a second ago and also linking that back I feel like it's funny because slushy sips slushy you know I don't know anyways I thought it was funny I did not come up with it Kayla actually thought of it because she thought originally because I drink coffee every single morning that it'd be easy to kind of like make a coffee and like be in a cute outfit or whatever so I'm playing around with different ideas with that and different like gimmicks for that but everyone kind of has their thing so Kayla she does like backflips and she always wears a skirt so that's kind of her like gimmick or branding or like you know visual representation of her as a creator and Erin does office content and it's all about her legs and heels and dresses and skirts and then Anne does a lot of like yoga wear and um, matching sets and it's all about her body and so those are kind of like their niches or sticks or you know whatever type of branding that they're doing that like really represents them as a creator and so yes so this easy strategy just posting twice a day on reels and being really really consistent with it no hashtags just simple captions really curating your feed to also be other creators has been really really helpful to all three of those girls and my new account it, you know it's a slow start it's a slow build but in like a week I now have a hundred and fifty something followers and I've been getting consistently around like 500 views per reel so I think for a week that's not too freaking bad um but <laughs> I'm gonna keep going with this and hopefully we'll see some good success so I'll keep you posted on the results but that's what I'm gonna be doing going into 2024 and with these reels I'm also going to be taking them over onto Facebook because that's also what Kayla recommended and she also monetized her Facebook so she's able to make some extra money on that as well and then personally I'm gonna be taking those and also putting them onto a TikTok page that's similar obviously Obviously, you'll have to be really specific about what you're reposting to TikTok because obviously things get flagged a lot more. So I'm not going to do everything, but I'm going to try and do maybe one a day there because some of my stuff on Instagram is a little bit revealing. Um, and I know TikTok is like way more particular, but I'm going to be trying to repost a lot of that content there as well. And what I'm going to be using to repurpose all that content is repurpose.io. It's a platform I've been using for the last year and I recommend it. It's super easy to just repurpose all of your content across all of your social medias. So that's what I'm going to be doing going into the new year. And I'm also trying different posting times I do think consistency is key here and so a schedule I've been trying out is 9 a.m and 12 p.m and it just said on my statistics that that was like the most active people were on my page obviously my page is super super new so I'm trying out different times as well today I'm actually testing out a 4 p.m posting time and seeing if that makes a difference so I'm trying out different times and once you figure out what that time is then I would just kind of stick to it and then something that is new for me that I actually really really care about and I've been trying to do a big push is making slushy my main spicy account it's been at the top of my beacons or like my link in bio you know platform I use beacons it's been at the top for months now and Honestly, I've seen like really good results with it being there. Yeah, I've been keeping that at the top of my page and I'm really trying to push that as my main account just because 
as you know, I did start working with Slushy and I'm really, really grateful for that um, because it's a platform that I truly believe in and I think that they believe in creators and I think that they support creators and they want creators to be able to do what they want on the platform and kind of make it their own. I feel like they are taking what we want and making that a possibility so literally whatever we ask for they're trying to put that into the works they're trying to make that happen for us and I think OnlyFans doesn't really do that they haven't really made any changes in the last freaking four years for us as creators like yeah they've made changes for themselves as a company but not really for creators and Slushy's just made such an effort to make it a place especially for adult creators to actually feel welcome so that's why i'm trying to put it as like my top platform like where i'm putting the most content and i'm putting the most effort in i'm putting the most effort in chats i'm putting the most effort in the content that goes there into the consistency of that so it's my main page now and i'm gonna keep pushing that forward into the new year and keeping it at the top of my beacons and that's what i'm working on for the new year you know there i always go through these waves where i'm like i want to start completely fresh and i feel like with slushy i got that opportunity to just start over and make it what i wanted and since they have so many features and they're coming out with like ai they have you know chat automations already they have lives they have the one-on-one -on -one features they are coming up with some bundle discounts for your fans and also loyalty programs for your fans which is so cool they're really taking in what creators are asking for and like making those things happen so that's why i'm kind of like pushing that to the top of my funnel and like hoping eventually i can make that like my one and only place i don't know how long that's gonna take but so far it is you know becoming that number one spot and i think putting it at the top of my bio is helping doing that so that when fans come to my page they are more inclined to click that page and i have noticed like my clicks to slushy are getting way way higher they're getting way closer to the numbers that OnlyFans is doing so i'm just excited to keep doing that into the new year and also going back to one of my first topics that i talked about today which was like building connections with other creators slushy allows creators to connect with creators so you can actually message any other creators on the platform and actually have conversations and that's what actually helped me get started when i started slushy i reached out to blair beanie when i first started on slushy and she was so helpful and it's all thanks to being able to message her that i was able to like start testing the waters with slushy and like figuring things out and she was so helpful and so it kind of just goes hand in hand with my other goal and so that's another reason why i'm going to be pushing more slushy in the new year and then the last thing that i'm going to be doing is actually going live more often and this goes for across all the platforms i want to do like live conversations with creators on like twitter and also on discord i have a discord for slushy creators and then i want to go live on like TikTok, Instagram, and then also on slushy. So I'm going to be prioritizing doing that at least, you know, once a week on non-adult platforms and then once a month on my slushy. And that way I'm going live a lot more. I'm really like interacting and it feels more real. I feel like that's why people like lives is it just you actually get to connect with the creator and hopefully fans will like that. So that's something that I'm going to be doing going into the new year and maybe even trying out some other live platforms like adult live platforms to kind of push people over to my slushy. And that is a wrap on what I'm going to be doing for 2024. I hope this is helpful if you are wondering like what kind of things I'm going to be putting in place for the new year. And maybe it'll give you some ideas for what you want to do. And I would love to hear any new strategies that you are going to be testing out this year. Any new platforms that you're going to try out and so on. You can leave that all in the comments down below so we can have a full on discussion. I love hearing all of the different ideas and I'm always looking for you know new ways to try out and test for you so that I can make videos about it and see like okay did this work did this not work that's my favorite thing to do is just trying different things and if there's anything you want me to try leave that down below as well if you're like I'm curious about this but I haven't tried it let me know and um we can try it out together so with that all being said I hope this video was helpful hopefully it sparked some ideas some motivation for you and I'll see you in the next video bye